Hey Funny Drawers, this is me, you the creator of Funny Draw. I wanted to do another home drawing to go along with my video of how to draw O. Today it'll be Funny Draw Tip in my Funny Draw style. She's part of my Cool Drawings playlist where you can see over 30 drawings of popular movie and game characters. The link is at the end. Alright, first I'll start with a curve like that for part of her forehead. Underneath this big curve, I'll draw a smaller curve for the cheek area. I'll draw a big wide curved line going across the bottom part of the face. And as for the nose, let's draw a small little nose here. So I won't worry about the ear. It's going to be covered by all that hair that we're going to draw later on. So once we have a cute little nose, I'll draw a nice smile with some nice pretty lips. So for the upper lip, I drew a long curve going up above the mouth line, and the lower lip can be drawn like that, below the mouth line. Okay, as for those big funny draw eyes, I like to draw these curved lines on the cheeks to start them off. So these two curves will act as a base to draw the big fun of your eyes on. For the actual eye, I'll go up like that as a curve, and I'll go right back down to form a leaf shape for the fun of your eye. I'll draw one more big curve like that to make this area the side of the eye, and then I'll make it nice and dark. Okay, so we have one big leaf shape, and let's get the other one in there. But because tip is facing off to the side a little bit, this eye will be slightly smaller and more narrow than this one. Just because of the angle of the face. Okay, so once we have those, let's draw some nice thick eyelashes. For fun, I'll put three of these nice lashes on each eye. They're like curved triangles. Very pretty. And this is just for fun. I'll make her cheeks rosy. And as for her eyes, we need those big adorable pupils. So I have a big curve inside the leaf shape, and I'm drawing a smaller curve facing the other way for the highlight. And that's a great way to make the eye look shiny and more alive and friendly. Okay, so I shaded part of the eye that's right underneath the highlight. After that, I like to draw a few more of these diagonal lines going down the eye, and as they go down the eye, the lines will get shorter and shorter. So that's how I always shade my fun your eyes. Let's go into this side here. If you're one of the viewers who've been requesting for a fun and draw tip, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, oh she's looking so cute. I'll get some nice eyebrows in there as well. I have one nice eyebrow. I'll go into the other eyebrow here. Okay, now Tip has lots of awesome curls. So let's draw all of that nice curly hair. In my Fun to Draw People drawings, I always try to make the hair simple and easy to draw. So this is a simple way to draw nice curly hair. I'm starting with a little curly bit like that. It kind of looks like a stylized number three. So I have this kind of just sprouting out from the middle part of her forehead there. You can see I'm using lots of these wavy lines like that. So you can practice drawing these small little waves. And that's a really good way to draw hair that is quite curly. 
So I'll go ahead and add more of these little waves and tight little curls around her face. I'm coming down towards the bottom part of her face and the hair will cover her ears so just go ahead and draw these little wavy lines coming down like that. Up here I'll start to draw these waves going the other way so in the opposite direction. to give her lots of volume. So I'm going to add more of these curls like this. So that's a good way to layer the hair and make it look extra nice and thick. Just layer a bunch of these wavy lines on top of each other. Sometimes I like to loop the hair around too, so it kind of creates a small little loop in there. I think that's a good idea to break up the shape here and there. And that creates a more natural look for the hair. So I have these little curly cues inside the hair. If you want to learn how to draw all sorts of different fun and simple hairstyles, you can go to my Fun and Draw People playlist on my Fun and Draw channel. There you'll see over 80 different people drawings with all sorts of different hairstyles. And I hope that really helps you draw different types of hair. Okay, I'm coming up here towards the top part of her head. And actually, if you want, you can sort of draw an outline first of the hair. So that will give you a guideline. And then once you have a rough idea of the shape, I'll go in and fill in all that space. Who is your favorite female character in any cartoon movie? Please share in the comments. Okay, now I'll start to add little bits of hair that's kind of randomly sprouting out from beyond most of the curls here. And I think that's a good idea to draw these small pieces of hair sticking out just for a more natural look too. So not everything is going to be contained within the overall shape of the hair. Let's draw a little bit more near the chin. So once we have all her gorgeous curls done, let's draw a cute little body. This will be part of the neck. That's part of her front. And this line I'm drawing now will be part of her hoodie. So I'll drill a line down from behind the back of the head. And for the hoodie part, I'll draw a line going up and another one kind of curling around the shoulder, which I'm drawing right now. So the shoulder and upper arm comes down like that. Two little lines. part of the sleeve of her hoodie and this is her lower arm. 
So it's bent at the elbow. It's like a skinny rectangle. I drew a few of her little colorful bracelets in there as well. That's part of the end of her hoodie. And I think it'll be fun to have her cute little hand like that sticking in her pant pocket. She's gonna have pants, but we'll be getting them. Okay, for her top, I drew a line across the front. And let's add some cool little stripes. I really like this outfit, it's pretty cool. Okay, so we have her striped top. This is part of her hoodie on the other side. And the rest of the hoodie. Oh yeah, and her other arm, that's kind of important too. Okay, so here's the sleeve. lower arm. Okay, so that's the end of her shirt. Below that, I'll start to draw her pants. Okay, so she's got some pretty cool jeans on. And I drew one leg of the jeans. So you can see the distance here near the thigh is quite wide compared to the ankle. So the jeans are kind of coming in towards a narrow point in the ankle. And this is how I would draw a simple shoe that's facing the front. So I like to start with a round triangle first for the main shape of the shoe. And then once we have that, I like to go in to draw the little details. So this is the front part of the shoe, and I'll draw some simple laces inside. Okay, for this part of the leg, I like to draw it out. There's a little bend in the knee, and let's go right back in. Into the ankle. And because this shoe is going to be facing the side, the shape won't be as wide as the first shoe that we drew. So that part was the sole that I just drew. This would be the front and the little shoelaces. And after you're done drawing this, you can check out my Fun and Draw channel on YouTube to see my other cute drawings, like my Fun and Draw O from the movie Home, my Princess Tiana, my fun draw Baymax, or Elsa and Anna in the new dresses for Frozen Fever. Which funny moment did you like the best? Please share in the comments. I'll draw a funny moment coming up in the extra. Here we go. I'm glad lots of you viewers have told me you've purchased my beautiful fun draw dogs and cats apps, my fun draw food apps, and my fun draw apps. No matter if you just started drawing or already have some experience, these professionally made fun draw apps can help you practice and improve your drawing skills wherever, whenever. They also make fun holiday and birthday gifts. The links to download them are in the video description. For more information, check out my Fun and Draw app demo video playlist. The link is coming up now. Subscribe so you'll know when a new video is posted. Then you can draw along with me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.